The Toronto skies could be a little bit brighter tonight thanks to a rare phenomenon called the super blue moon. Audra Brown with the science behind the blue and what makes tonight's occurrence especially unique. A super moon is usually when the full moon is uh, at its closest uh, part to the Earth. So the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's an ellipse. So when the moon comes at, at, at its closest to the Earth, we call it the point of perigee. So when we have the full moon at that point, we have a super moon. What's rare, super rare about tonight is that it is going to be the third full moon of the season. And usually the third full moon of a four moon uh, season is called a blue moon. And now we have a combination of the super moon and a blue moon, which we call a super blue moon. We won't actually uh, have a change in color in the moon though. No, uh, the moon is going to look the same in terms of its color. Um, it's just the phrase that we say. The moon will appear about 14% larger and up to 30% brighter. Uh, so if you, if you were to look at it, you may not be able to tell really that it's a super moon, uh, but you will be able to tell that it's a full moon, it will be pretty bright, and you will be able to see nice features on the moon with the naked eye. Is there a, a place in the city that's sort of best to see these kind of things? Is it's bright enough that you can see it from anywhere. You don't necessarily need to get away from lights or anything. Uh, what you do want to get away from um, is really tall buildings or trees that will obstruct your view, depending on the time of the night that you want to go out. Well, the next time you'll be able to see a seasonal super blue moon won't be until the beginning of 2037. Although the skies were quite cloudy this afternoon, it is supposed to clear tonight. And if you don't get a chance to catch the seasonal super blue moon, it will still be visible tomorrow. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.